Hi, my name is Jay with CompuMatter. I just got off the phone with a client who uses Microsoft Outlook 2013. Now this may apply to 16 and some of the other versions as well. All of a sudden, everybody comes into work one day and every single user can no longer log into the Microsoft Exchange server. Um, you may not even realize you're using Exchange server uh, but if you're signed up to uh, Microsoft 365 and your email's hosted with Microsoft, then that's what you're using. But one day, the world's users, not just this client as it turns out, but users all over the world, they type in their known password and they get booted right back out again. Total mystery. You dig in, you look for app-specific passwords, things of that nature. Nothing works. So I put in a call to Microsoft's uh, support team and uh, was unable to get them. I held a very, very long time and ended up going through their website, getting online with somebody in chat and working through it that way. And uh, after a little while, she led me to this solution. And uh, let me get myself out of the way here. All right, so it says enable modern authentication for Office 2013 on Windows devices now. Is it, it may be specific at 2013, not sure. But the solution is a registry fix. What you need to do is right here. You just skip right through the rest of this page. You want to take that, right click, copy, open up Notepad, paste that in there, save it as a file wherever you want to. I'm going to put it in downloads and we'll call it Office Fix. And it's very important it ends with REG, not TXT. So change that from text to REG. And then go ahead and save it. I'll put it in my downloads. Okay, we'll close that. Now, if I open my downloads folder, we see we have something with an icon that is typical of registry oriented icons. And if I double click on that, it's going to ask me if I want to make those changes to my registry. Well, I don't want to make those changes because I don't use Office um, on my computer. I'm using uh, LibreOffice, so we're going to delete that. But that was the fix on the client, and it, was, it worked on every single one of their computers, but had to be done individually. So anyway, that's uh, all there is to that. I will um, make a copy of that and put it down in the comments area so that you can download it and apply it uh, in your own use case. Uh, I spent a solid hour working through the different possibilities before I got to this, so hopefully this will save you some time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.